you start to dance with a great frame. You feel good. But after some times, your elbow's going down. You cannot maintain this position. You cannot hold your frame, and you don't know how to fix it. Does it look familiar? Most responsible person in the ballroom to create and hold the frame is a man, the leader. If you want to be a good leader, let me share with you three tips how to hold and maintain your frame during the dance. And tip number one. When we build our frame, gentlemen, I want you to understand, we're not just bringing up our arms and our hands. We're going to use muscles of our core and low back muscles. We're going to build it from the low uh, body and bring up our frame. Like a bird opens a wing, we're going to build our frame from the low back and mm, muscles and muscles of the core. Whoop. And then arms and my hands, continuation of my fundamental base. Why are we doing this? Can you see, muscles of our core and muscles of our low back and back much stronger than muscles of our arms or shoulders. Can you see, these muscles keeping us in the vertical degree during the whole day. And definitely, they have more powerful and they more develop. And if we're going to use them, they're giving us very strong energy to keep our frame. And let me demonstrate. First time, I'm going to use only my arms and my hands. Yes, we have not bad frame, but doesn't look strong and doesn't look spacious enough. Second time, I'm going to build my frame from the muscles of my core and low back muscle. First of all, you can see I'm going to create strong foundation for my rib cage, for my shoulders, and for my arms. And... You can see, definitely, my frame looks way stronger, way more shape, and definitely way more spacious. And gentlemen, let's do it together. Let's build our frame from the low back muscles and muscles of the core. So we're staying here, and then you can see I'm going to build my frame from the low back muscles and muscles of my core. Bring it up. Now open your arms and keep it. Not only your arms, but build it from the low center. And tip number two, we're going to lock our rib cage and our shoulder with our arm. I'm keeping it strong connection between my uh, right side of my rib cage and my right shoulder and my right arm. And same for my left arm. Left side of my rib cage, my left shoulder and left arm. You know, it doesn't go down. If it go down, it's only going shoulders and frame together. And now I'm going to lock my arms with my shoulders and my uh, chest. And if somebody going to push it down, can you see my arms doesn't break in the shoulder? It's only moving like a whole frame down and goes up. Very strong connection between rib cage and arms. If I'm not locking my arms with my elbows and I'm pushing down, you can see my elbows drop and my frame falling apart. And tip number three, when we dance, we're going to lead lady, not by using our legs or our arms or our frame. We're going to use our body to lead our partner. Now we build our frame from the low back and core muscle. We locked our arms with the rib cage and shoulders, and we're going to use our body to lead lady, not our frame, not our arms and hands, not our legs, body. One, two, three, one, two, three, so, if you're going to build your frame by using a muscles of the core and low back muscles from the bottom of your uh, body and lock your arms with your shoulders and your rib cage, we're creating beautiful frame. And then we're going to lead lady by using our body 
definitely you can hold and maintain your frame for whole your dance.